from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi there, I'm Andrew Bucklow. And I'm Bronte Coy. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Monday the 1st of August. We'll start with some behind-the-scenes drama from the Commonwealth Games. Channel 7 presenter Joanna Griggs has weighed in after swimmer Kyle Chalmers yesterday blasted the media for asking if there was any friction between him and his ex-girlfriend Emma McKean, who's now dating Cody Simpson. Have you kept up with that? Mm -hmm. Great. Chalmers described reports of tension as fake news and said they were affecting his mental health. This morning on Triple M Sydney, Griggs, who's a former swimmer, said that Chalmers needs to stop feeding the headlines. So I'm kind of hoping that, that Kyle stops feeding it because the more, even though I get his feeling uh, incredibly swamped at the moment and he's not, not coping with it, every time he mentions it, he, he makes it a bigger story. Moving on now, gas producers have been put on notice by the federal government. Now, the ACCC recently warned the gas outlook for next year was very concerning because Australian producers intended to export a lot of their gas overseas. Well, the Federal Resources Minister has now said the government will intervene unless the producers can prove that there won't be a gas shortage in Australia in 2023. In other news, a Gold Coast taxi driver has been charged by police after allegedly threatening passengers with a knife over a fare dispute. The incident happened in Surface Paradise at about 1.30 this morning. Police will allege the driver waved a knife at four men who'd been in his cab before driving into one of them with his taxi. My word, that's hectic. Such a Surface Paradise story, isn't it? Okay, let's move on rapidly before we get shunned by all our listeners in Surface Paradise. Uh, Let's take a look at sport. And after a turbulent week, it's been revealed that several Manly Sea Eagles players met for emergency talks yesterday in the hopes of smoothing over troubles within the NRL team. Cracks were formed last week when an emergency that seven players were refusing to wear the Pride jersey to play in last Thursday's clash against the Sydney Roosters. Now, according to the Daily Telly, tensions have been eased for now as the focus turns to Friday's game against Parramatta when the players are due to return from their boycott. To entertainment news now, it's been revealed that Margot Robbie sent the Neighbours cast a pretty impressive farewell gift ahead of their final episode. Yes, actress Christy Whelan revealed that Margot sent 37 bottles of champagne to the set in Melbourne so everyone could toast to the show one last time. God, Margot, we get it. You're super rich. I bet it was Audi champagne. (laughs) No, that's a really nice gift. I like it. Margot played Donna Friedman in The Soap from 2008 to 2011 and made a cameo in the last ever episode. Can I just say for the record, I love Audi champagne as well. Uh, And finally, I've got some movie news for you, you lucky ducks. Uh, Sylvester Stallone isn't very happy that there's a Rocky spin-off movie in the works. The upcoming film will allegedly focus on Dolph Lundgren's character from Rocky IV, which of course was Ivan Drago. Now, in a fiery Instagram post, Stallone called the producers of the upcoming film Paris sites and claimed that Lundgren, who's meant to be his mate, never told him that the movie was in the works. Do you reckon he'll make a cameo? I highly doubt it. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Margot, send us some champagne. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.